bring y'all Tis to your boy, Megas Magneto from Now Never Crew. And in this video, I'm going over the top 10 air freezes because I figured I haven't done it yet. So it would be a good idea to do it. Let's go. All right, so top 10 air freezes that I think everyone should know for different purposes. Basically, each freeze sets you up for learning a more advanced movement later on and or just being able to have the basic. So for instance, your figure four freeze teaches you how to do oblique style freezes with a sideways lean. And then like your basic beginner hollow one starts teaching you how to do more advanced like hollow back style freezes. So yeah, long story short, here's my top 10 completely biased list. Let's go. All right, number one, we got your Nike. So for Nike, all you're gonna do is have one leg straight, one leg bent. So whichever hand's gonna be on the ground, the opposite leg is gonna be straight. The hand that's on the ground is gonna have the leg bent behind you. Make sure your leg's not bent in front of you. Like this, it's bent behind you like that, okay? So heel close to your butt. So you can start with a cartwheel, you can start from two hand going to one, basically however you want. But for this instance, we're just gonna quickly get through it. So we're gonna go, both hands down, you're gonna kick up into a handstand, then you're gonna choose your dominant hand for your air freeze, and then you're gonna lean onto that one. So, we're gonna be left for me, so we're gonna go here, left. Your legs are gonna be opening, right leg to the side, reaching for that hand, left leg behind. Boom, like that, okay? So make sure you're leaning all the way up to your left arm, obviously, your legs bent behind you, and you're kicking that leg straight, and you're grabbing your hand. You're welcome to look forwards, down, or to the side. Whatever works best for you. You can also start it sideways like this, if you so choose. Number two, we have our pencil freeze. This one is literally just practicing balancing on one hand with your legs straight. So, you can definitely use it for whatever you want to do it, but for now, we're just going to learn like straight out, and then from there, flip it, change it, rearrange it, make it yours, and make it fly. So, all you're going to do, go up to a handstand, leg straight, then choose your dominant hand, and lean to it, just like that, okay? So that's the pencil freeze. Now, if you want to make it more authentic, bring your hand to your leg. Now, because you're straight, it's hard to balance, so really make sure you're gripping the ground with your hands, and you're flexing your whole body, and feel free to rotate your shoulder slightly up like that, so that you stack your body on top of yourself versus staying down. Because if you stay solid down like this, then your waist gonna pull you this way. But if you push yourself up like that, it brings your top shoulder, the one that's not on the ground, higher and in the same line, which is making it stacked of your body, so that your weight stays more on this arm versus pulling you down this way. Let's go. And that's pencil. Number three, this is your inverted handstands. I didn't add any full inverts in here or hollow backs because for some people, flexibility is just gonna make it so they're not gonna get to do it. So, but this is basically like the precursor for an invert, okay? So this is just a handstand that's slightly inverted. It's again, not to be confused with a full invert like this. This is simply an inverted handstand. So, similar idea though, you're gonna bring your hands Wide like this, legs are just gonna stay in the Nike position for now. Then you're gonna bring your hands a little bit inside, facing each other. Then you wanna bend your arms slightly and you wanna bring your neck through your arms, okay? So you wanna feel your shoulder blades in the back going together, just like that. So you're going down, through like that, okay? As you're doing that, the more you bring your chest wide, the more you bring your shoulders back, the deeper you're gonna get into the inverted handstand, okay? You can start from a headstand if you feel like it's easier to push up and then hit into it, or you can simply go from standing. So, from here, you're going up, handstand, pull through, like that. So you wanna pull yourself through, as I said, like this, through, and looking out, bending. The more you can get through, better it's gonna look. Again, going, hit. Then, when you're up there and you want to hold it, Flex everything and try to bend again a little bit downwards so you can sink into the position and feel more comfortable there. Go in. Boom. All right, next freeze, we have your pipe. So this is one of my favorite freezes. Basically, what it is is a one-handed air freeze, but your body is facing yourself. Kind of make sense, kind of not. Anyways, so your body's gonna be piped like this. So head as close to your legs as possible, legs here. So you're looking through your legs to the ceiling. Arm behind you, hand rotated sideways, just like this, okay? So you're in this position, or this, or whatever you decide, upside down, okay? So how you do that is by going up and then literally just rotating your body upwards 
and then folding your body in. So the hardest part is getting that fold and that rotate together. So rotate first, going up, rotate, okay? Once you can see the sky, you know you're in a pipe. Then once you can do that, you just fold it in. So you're going fold at the top, okay? It's gonna be a little bit discombobulating because you don't know where you really are, but the more comfortable you get, the easier it's gonna get. So, then just try and fold and turn in one motion like this. Okay, okay. Once you start feeling that pulling in behind your shoulder blade, that's when you really know that you're in the position because you're tightening the right muscles. And then again, to hold it, all you gotta do is flex and squeeze that part, especially behind here, hard as you can. Going. Hit. All right, next one we got your flag freeze. Again, another one of my favorites because it doesn't require a lot of work and you can kind of trick your body into learning a really dope freeze if you just try it properly. So how I like to start my flags is from low because when you start low, you don't go as high because a flag isn't a flag unless you're more horizontal because the more horizontal you get your body with your arms, the better it's going to look because the more authentic to an actual flag it's going to be versus if you're really high, doesn't look like that nice of a move. Then it just looks like a handstand. So, one hand down, facing away from you. You're gonna go into it kind of the same way we went to that Nike before. The front arm is gonna bend when you go up, but you wanna get this hand behind you like that first. Notice when I go behind, my head rotates there. What I wanna do is I wanna counterbalance that by bending my arm so I can rotate my head through looking straight. So I'm going up, as you go up, I'm bending like that. So bending that arm as that hand goes over. Now my top leg is gonna be kicking to my ears and then I'm gonna try and kick not too high, just till I'm at that center point or as close as I can get and I'm gonna flex. This is all obliques and side ab killerness. So you gotta really make sure you flex and tighten your body as hard as you can. So you go up, this hand, I tend to go over at the same time I kick my leg so that I can propel myself with proper momentum. Going, hit like that. So you're gonna have a bunch of those first. The biggest thing to remember is try to open to the front and keep yourself low and hold it. So again, going hit. One more time, let's try to actually hold it this time. Hit, just like that. Next one, you got your straddle air freeze. Now I get this is very basic and doesn't feel like it's a legitimate freeze, but the thing is, it's the base to most of these freezes. So it is important to understand. And there's a lot you can do with it if you've got decent hand balancing too. So the easiest thing is to start off in a basic handstand and then slowly rotate and bend to one side. So we're gonna go straddle handstand, find your balance. Then you should have lean to one side. Then you can go off right away and fall or you can slowly itch yourself over with fingertips like this. Or if you're like, that just feels like a handstand bounce and I wanna have to do a natural freeze, you're welcome to just go right away like this. One, two, hit. Okay, that totally works. Or if you wanna go a little bit more spicy, just jump into it. Now I know jumping into one hand can feel a little sketchy, but once you get really comfortable with it, it starts to feel really cool and add a lot of explosiveness to your movement. Make sure your arm's slightly bent or else you're gonna hyperextend it and that's not fun. Jump, again. Push your shoulder out a little bit so it's nicely stacked. Open your legs, flex everything, basic. Hit. Next one, your box freeze. This one, you're just basically bringing your knees as close to your chest as you can. You're welcome to bring the hand up and hold it too, or you can bring it behind, whatever. This is one of the first ones I personally started with as far as air freezes go, because it's the most easy. Because especially when you're stacking into it from like a headstand to handstand, you're gonna have be using the same pump here like this, going pump, hit. So it's really easy to just stack into and do all those things. So for this one again, start however you choose from your headstand, handstand, taking one away is usually the easiest. So we're gonna go off there, but you're welcome to explore whatever means you so choose to do. So we're going two hands to one. When you go to one hand, tuck your legs in, easy. Going hit, like that, okay? And then again, just lean over this arm so that doesn't happen, hit. Just like that. Now, once that's comfortable, you're welcome to add a little hop into it because that's gonna look way nicer. So just do a two-handed hand hop to one hand catch. Like this, going, hit. That was a pretty good one, right? So as you can tell, that's probably my most comfortable one because I've done it the most. But you're gonna find the ones that work best for you. You just have to try them all.
Next one, your figure four, or some people call this one the box freeze, but for me, it makes more sense to be calling it the figure four because it's using the same concept of one leg over top, which is making that four position, and even though we're bending it behind, to me, it still creates that four, so we a little squiggly line at the end, you know. So, basically for this one, this is the first one that really taught me how to use my obliques, and again, it's taking a handstand and adding a lot more variations to it. So whichever way you're going down, that leg is gonna be bent behind you. The leg in front, which is over top the other one, is gonna be the side that you're not going down on. So the back foot basically leads the descent, okay? So because I'm falling to the left, my left leg will be bent and my right leg will be over top of it. So you go up here. So get comfortable in the handstand with that position first. Hit, okay? Then once you're there, all you have to do is let that leg fall very slowly sideways, not in front of you, sideways. So you're in that straight line, and again, you're stacked and you're falling sideways. Now, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be squeezing your obliques all in here, hard as you can. That's what's holding you the whole time there, okay? So yes, your fingers have to grip and keep you solid too, but the obliques is where it really happens. So start off just with a little bend, go on like this, hit, okay? Then, as you get comfortable holding there, really try to bring that together as much as you can. So. Think this elbow to this heel, okay? Elbow to heel, elbow to heel. Then just play with that until it gets really comfortable. Just like that. All right guys, we're almost there. The next one we're doing is beginner hollows. So this is kind of like, it's taking a hollow back and bringing it into one-handed and doing it really weakly and poorly because you know, hey, I can't hollow back. So basically this is my version of it. So all it is, is literally just taking a handstand, hollowing your back, and then you're welcome to grab a foot or whatever you want to do from there. So I'll be going about this, and then I'm going to be keeping my back as arched as I can and grabbing my feet. Going, <laughs> just like that, okay? So again, you're going up, and then wherever you feel like you want to hold it and hit the freeze, you hit the freeze. So you're welcome to go as high as you want or as low as you want. I find a nice little middle is what usually makes the freeze look the best, but it's totally up to you. One more time, going. Just like that. Last one, we have your reverse Nike. So basically, as I said, Nike, you grab your straight leg and your bent leg is the one that you don't grab, it's the one that goes behind you. So we're gonna flip that around and you're gonna grab now your bent leg and your straight leg is gonna be not being grabbed. So I personally find doing an old school walk back into it is the dopest, but you're welcome to do it literally however you want. So the leg that's gonna go straight is gonna go straight in front of you, not beside you. And then you're gonna grab your leg behind you like this. So again, you wanna make sure your back leg is behind you, not like this. Okay, so make sure it's behind you. And your straight leg is straight in front of you. So I like to do my eye line to my feet. So from here, you go up, straight like that. And then the back leg, you're gonna grab. So. Hit, okay? I find it's hard to get into it like that, so I have to jump into this one, but you're welcome to again do it however you so choose. So you're gonna jump onto the one hand, grabbing that back leg, straightening the front leg towards your audience or whoever you're battling, and you're gonna be looking at that foot. So I have to go step, kick into it. Boom. All right, y'all, that's all of them. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, smash the button for more videos, and of course, comment down below and let me know what you would like to see next. What top 10 videos should I do next? Or what would you like to see? Let me know, comment below. Peace. Before you go, if you're not completely sick of my face already, don't forget to get my free course, Breaking Made Simple. To access the course, all you have to do is go to the link down below. To get the free download, all you have to do is join the Facebook group, Breaking Made Simple, which is a hub for people to learn, grow, and just get better and become the best b-boys they possibly can, man.